Now, Farm Bureau presents the finalists for Class 2A Offensive Player of the Year. Trey Burks, Lafayette County. I'm glad we got what we got now, though. Got a big receiver. Good and catch. We got two good receivers, matter of fact. Uh, we can catch. Got a good QB. I mean, got more than one weapon. Yeah. Got a lot of good line. Good offense. Unselfish, unassuming, Trey gladly shared the touches with his teammates. But defense is always keyed on number 14 with little success. At 5'10", 220 pounds, Trey Burks trucked through tacklers. With just amazing balance, Trey rarely went down on first contact. He would even dance down the sideline en route to one of his 73 career touchdowns. And Burks could kick in his 4'6 speed for a long haul. As a junior, Burks rumbled for almost 2,000 yards and 26 touchdowns. With 31 fewer carries this year, Trey topped 2,100 yards and fumbled just one time. The two-time All-State performer pushed the Cougars to their first playoff win in nine years. And Trey Burks leaves Lafayette County as the number seven career rusher in state history with 6,131 yards. Jackie Harville, Gurdon. Players of his caliber only come around once a generation. And with 4-4 speed, he's gone. Jackie Harville took off as a sophomore when he averaged 8.6 yards per carry. As a junior, number three raced for 1,300 yards and 20 touchdowns, propelling Gurdon to its third league title in four years. The dependable Harville wanted the ball every play this year, and he averaged 23 yards per reception. Always effective on the edge, Harville ran tough inside on his way to 2,100 yards and 31 TDs. And the 400-pound squatter delivered a pop when he made one of his 69 tackles this fall. Gurdon's Jackie Harville put the go in Go Devil for three years. And he didn't stop until he topped 4,100 yards and scored 76 touchdowns. Kagan Rogo, McCrory. Never missed a practice, never in a bad mood. And while Kagan Rogo put up big numbers, he had one goal this year, a state championship ring. Running behind a solid line, number four picked up almost 10 yards every attempt. Rogo ran for 174 yards and three touchdowns against Hazen to guarantee McCrory's first conference title in five years. Get out of there. Get out of there. With quickness to match his 4-5 speed, Kagan averaged 167 yards and two touchdowns weekly, despite playing a half or less in seven blowouts. In playoff wins over Mount Ida and Hackett, Rogo raced for 370 yards and three scores. He torched Conway Christian for 250 yards and four touchdowns in the semifinals. And on the biggest stage, Rogo ripped Ryzen for 137 yards and two touchdowns in an MVP performance. Kagan was clutch on McCrory's second scoring drive with consecutive third down receptions, 
The first, a spectacular grab for 32 yards to the Ryzen 19. Three plays later, Rogo ran down a deflected pass for 11 yards and another first down. And in the fourth quarter, his second interception of the night sealed the Jaguars' first ever state championship. Playing every down like it was his last, McCrory's Kagan Rogo earned his ring with 177 career tackles, 16 interceptions, 5,300 rushing yards, and 75 touchdowns.